Okay, hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. And what I'm gonna do in this video is that we're gonna try to do packages, okay? I don't wanna use the word modules like I did it, I would with Python because modules kind of represent something a little bit different. Like modules, um, like a module is something you can include um, in a class. So if I were to create a module, so basically it's it's really for composition. So the way you can create pieces that you can add when you want. So I can be like modules uh, trained. Okay, so model ma ma. So basically, a dog could be trained, and then a dog that is trained will have dog like will have functions like sit. So puts. Oh, Control Z puts uh, dog sits and def they can roll over. Okay, def uh, puts roll over dog rolls over. Okay, and then I can sit there and then include it in this dog class. I can be like include trained. Okay, then there it goes. So now what's going to happen is that I'll actually be able to do this like dog. So I can now do like Sparky. So now all the dogs got trained. So Sparky dot roll over. I can go do Bobby. dot sits sit sit or sit sit okay and then this should all work so see now I have those methods so I can add the so if there's something that I want to add to more than one class like this extra pieces but they're not necessarily things I'm going to inherit from so it's not like the classes that don't inherit from another might still need these bonus things you can add them in as a module cool so that's what a module is now, what I'm going to try to do is see w if we can bring something in from a, another file. So let's see, let's create a new Ruby file. We'll call this hello world. Okay, and we're just gonna create a function called def hello world. Okay, and all it does is puts hello world. Okay, and we're gonna. Tr and the way usually you would bring in a package is you at the top of your file you would put in require, and let me see if I just put in the file name dot slash hello. It should be like dot slash hello world dot rb. Is that resolved? Yep, and. If it requires any further context, well, let's try it out. So let's see here. Uh, if I were to do go down here, I can actually use the hello world function. And let's run the code. And it works. See? So I require this file. So anything that's in this file now becomes available in this file. Okay, so that's if you wanted to use like packages. Now, if you had packages that you installed with like gem files and whatnot then you just have to put the name of the package here so if you've used like node package manager that works this way and again node package manager came ruby kind of had the sort of the the sort of creme de la creme of package management in the day so and basically es6 modules didn't exist yet in javascript so this why this, this looks really familiar to node to you it's because this is where node and ryan Dahl were borrowing it from uh, experiences in Ruby and how nice the Ruby uh, ecosystem was and bringing that over to JavaScript with Node. Okay, but yeah, so that's how that works. And with that, I think we're good. You kind of know the basics of Ruby as far as like the core tools. Now, you know, learning little specific methods and doing some coding challenges, but you kind of get the syntax now um and just practice that's all it is it's just practice 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 so i'll see you guys later on have a great day and enjoy